What's good, y'all, man? We got Kevin Froggy, man. Oh, Foggy talks um, Marvel Studio and Sony Spider Man split. So, um, yeah, about to react to it, man. About to see what they talking about. What's my boy Cosmo book talking about? You know what I mean? Comment book talking about and shit like that. But, um, yeah, but hey, who's ready for Spider Man to come out? The trailer, man. Who's ready for it? Let me know in the comments down below. Who's, you know, who's ready for the. Goddamn motherfucking trailer. Who, you know what I'm saying? Who ready for the trailer, man? Let me know in the comments below, man. And um, yeah, share the video. Let's get it. It was a very interesting time to be a Spider-Man fan after the character was ripped out of the MCU following his second film. Of course, things were restored back to normal and now it seems like we're getting everything Spider-Man we've always wanted in the next film. But now, Kevin Feige, the guy responsible for bringing Spider-Man to the MCU, reflects on that time period and what was going on. So recently sitting down with RT and doing an interview in regards to Spider-Man and what the future holds, Kevin Feige reflected on that time after Spider-Man Far From Home came out in the summer of 2019 and the negotiations that broke down around the release of that film because Sony was not really responding to Disney's and Marvel's negotiations. Yeah, Sony was like, uh-uh. Shit, we want Spider-Man. Man, people were so sad. Like, I felt like, I felt, I felt that shit too. I was, I was like, I was like, oh shit, oh shit, Spider-Man not might be on a uh, movie no more. On Marvel side no more. I was like, oh shit. But they finally made an agreement to it. And everybody was all happy and shit. But first, people was like, like this. You know what I mean? They were like, oh shit, like, damn. So we, so you tell me we ain't gonna get no more Spider-Man after, uh, after this? So Sony got, you know what I mean? Like, it was crazy. The whole Twitter, Instagram, whole social media went crazy when they heard that shit going on. Sony and the Marvels and Disney. Everybody went, everybody went crazy. Everybody was talking about that shit. Everybody just went insane, though. Like, no cap. Like, no cap, y'all. Request, and they were aiming to pull Spider-Man out. Now, of course, this was made public without anybody wanting it to be public. It just sort of hit, I believe, Variety first, and then it spread like wildfire, and it was confirmed. Yeah, it was, oof. I think, I didn't want it to be, like, low-key. But somebody like fuck it, we we gonna we, we gonna let everybody know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like like, cause if it was low key, shit, we wanna know. But that's good. Well, we like spit, you know, spit the beans out. Like saying, hey, you know, Sony wants Spider Man out. You know, Sony wants Spider Man out for the Marvels. And hey, man, we gotta tell the people about it. So why we did that shit? Hey, good for you, man. Cause we all riot, we all riot. We say, hey. Key Spider Man Woo, you know, they, they were saying hashtag Key Spider Man Marvels, hashtag Woo Woo, hashtag Woo Woo. Then they, you know, five minute deal, this shit, no cap. <laughs> so, Feige opening up on this talked about the fact that if you look at Marvel Studios and how they weren't involved with Spider Man movies before, aka, you know, the original Spider Man trilogy, but more so the Amazing Spider Man, which they tried to get involved with, but Sony wouldn't have any of it. He uh -huh. said that for whatever reason, things took a different route and that it was emotional that it was different and that everybody wanted to try to make it work but there was some i guess parties at play that weren't really seeing eye to eye so it came down to amy pascal john watts and tom rothman who of course is the uh sony pictures chairman now he was formerly at fox and they talked with Tom Holland and, of course, Bob Iger and multiple people at Disney that were higher up. And they were able to, after a few long months, finally able to come up with a new deal that helps everybody out. Yeah. Now, of course, the terms of this deal he doesn't go into, but most of us sort of understand how it went and what requests are made and what requests were made. And I think you start to see that into how the third Spider-Man film is shaping up to be something completely different. Where we understand that originally it was going to be Peter on the run. And that's it. Alone. Yeah, we, yeah that's what it's supposed to be like for the you know, second because we saw the, the cliffhanger. You know, it's in the post credit scene. 
But now they talking about mu well, so called multiverse. They doing everything different that we don't usually see in the Spider Man. Well, we saw the cartoon version of Spider Man into the Spider Verse that that um that cartoon version, what that's called, you know, anime version, whatever you want to say it or call it. But now we got something different, you know what I'm saying, live action that we never see before and you know what I mean? So yeah. So they you know yeah and trying to be the best Spider-Man he can without any help. But, at Sony's request, well, we want the other people in here. We want this, we want multiverse, yeah, we want to feel like we're playing in the MCU. And they bent over backwards to accommodate that because, one, fans, but two, also they want Spider-Man because they don't want Spider-Man to be taken out of the MCU and then just sort of thrown under a bus again and into turmoil that doesn't make sense. So you can see how, you know, him reflecting on it is like, yeah, it's, it was a thing, but everybody worked it out, and they're thankful for it. And they well, keep talking. I, I was thank, I was like, ooh, thank, I was like, thank, shit, we need, we need Tom Holland and Marvels, man. I don't, don't want to see no reboot. I don't want to see no reboot, man. Hundred percent. I don't want to see no reboot. No cap. I don't want to see no reboot, man. No cap. About the yeah. business way and the politics behind it saying that this was something that's one of those things that everybody wanted to make work because it helped everybody so he's thankful for it yeah I was saying, I don't, look I don't, look look at that look I don't want to see no reboot man you know what I mean no cat but hey that's good um, Kevin Froggy man Oh, Foggy, you know what I'm saying? Talk it out with Sony. Sony talk it out. But I, I think that's why they doing that shit. Multiverse, you know what I'm saying? Well, so-called multiverse, they ain't announced it yet. But I think it is because we saw Loki, you know what I mean? Episode, last episode, and then multiverse broke loose. So maybe it's going to be that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm you know, I'm not saying 100%, but maybe it's going to be that, you know, going towards that, you know, in Spider-Man in, in, you know, December. But, um... Yeah, man, but that's good. Sony and them talked it out, man. And I think that, um, that's why Sony want to be involved. That's why they want to bring Electro or Dr. Octopus because, you know, that, those are all the people that was in, you know, Sony, not Marvel. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But, um, all y'all, man, all y'all, man, y'all, man, spoke me each and every day. Um, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. I love all y'all. And, um, and let me know what y'all think about um, Marvels and um, Sony. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, let me know what y'all think about multiverse. And let me know what y'all think about everything. But uh, I'm out. And, um, yeah, I'm out. All right. Peace.